Welcome to another add-on showcase for Good of 4. I'm going to showcase 10 super cool add-ons that will definitely help you create games. Let's start. This video was made possible by supporters on Patreon. If you want to help me make more videos like these, you can support me on Patreon. Thanks! Hoodie by Green Crowd Dev is a visual scripting tool for procedural geometry. It offers a nice and simple interface right in the engine. Installing is super simple as it's a GD extension. The project offers a nice documentation with a getting started tutorial. Procedural geometry allows you to create geometry through code. You don't have to model by hand. This can be tremendously helpful in many games. Imagine placing fences, creating walls or road tracks for example. These are simple examples but just look at what people are doing with Blender geometry nodes to get a better idea. I'm really excited for projects like these. Procedural geometry has been amazing in Blender, so it's really cool to see something like that coming to Godot. You can follow the progress on their YouTube channel if you're interested. Speaking of visual scripting, here's Orchestrator by Vahera. It's a full solution to program games inside Godot using visual scripting. If you're familiar with blueprints or you want a more visual way of programming, this add-on is for you. Orchestrator is used just like GDScript or C Sharp, so you can simply attach it to any nodes and interact with everything as you normally do. This is also a great way to build dialogues, as the other add-ons for that are usually using visual scripting too. Visual scripting can make Godot even more accessible, so I'm really excited for that. Let me know in the comments if you've tried visual scripting before. You want better gamepad support for your sliders in Godot? Slider gamepad by me? Oh yes, me, is here to save today. Shameless plug, but I wanted to show you this simple add-on I made. Sliders don't behave well with gamepad. When using the joystick, it doesn't smoothly move and there's no way to set up the sliders to use steps. This add-on fixes that and allows you to customize how fast the joystick should be, but also customize the steps. It's easy and simple. AI here, AI there, we've been hearing about AI everywhere in the past years, and I'm fed up of the bullshit. But don't worry, Limbo AI by LimboNote is here to help you make real AI. Yes, I'm talking about the good old behavior trees and state machines. There's a built-in editor with a nifty little debugger and good documentations with examples. The editor looks really good and simple, and I like how easy it is to read what the behavior is. The debugger is even cooler and shows you exactly what state is on and for how much time. This looks like a solid project which can be especially interesting if you don't want to fill your node tree with nodes for your AI. CSG Toolkit by Fabixen aims at making CSGs easier and faster to use. CSG and Godot are pretty powerful, but let's face it, a bit slow and clunky to use. This add-on should help with that by providing quick access buttons, easier boolean operations with shortcuts, presets, quick materials, other shortcuts, and a node to repeat CSG blocks, like the array modifier in Blender. Neat. If you do 3D and you need to block out, you should definitely try this and see if it improves your workflow. A neat feature is planned to allow you to convert your CSG to mesh nodes. That would be very cool. To the pixel people, we don't forget you, and Pixel Pen by Pixel Pen Dev will probably make you very happy. It's a free and open source pixel editor that you can use as a standalone app or as an add-on directly in the editor. This can be extremely useful to do touch-ups on your sprites, but also to prototype or quickly make assets in game jams. You can even try a web demo to see how it works. You have the usual tools you're familiar with, such as pens, shapes, buckets, but also a palette selection and a nice layer system. This is very impressive and it shows again how versatile Godot is and how cool the community is.
Let's go back to 3D with Terror Brush by Spymort, a very powerful 3D terrain editor. It has a lot of features, so let me give you some of them. Sculpt, texture paint, foliage, water, snow, holes, multiple brushes, and even scenes. There's documentation and a tutorial video to help you get started. We've seen some terrain plugins before, and this one seems like a real contender with some serious features. I've tested it, and the ease of use is quite impressive. I really recommend you try this one. Shaking stuff is pretty cool, and Shaker by Nescape3431 seems like the perfect add-on for that. It allows you to add different kind of shakes to objects. You can call the shaker by code with different patterns, but you can also use nodes to trigger or receive shake automatically. The demo scene shows you the different usage of the add-on and how easy it is to set up. Honestly, this feels very good, and I'm probably going to use it in my future projects. You can see with the explosion example that the shake will be proportional to the distance, for example. And with this cubed example, you see how you can easily easily tweak the strength of the shake. Very useful. Signals in Godot are incredibly powerful, but it can be hard to see all the connections. This is not the case anymore, thanks to Signal Visualizer by Eric Downey. You'll get a new tab at the bottom of Godot to see all the signals in your different scenes and how they're connected to other scripts. That's it! Very simple, but incredibly useful. This can be especially useful for beginners or new people coming to a project. It makes it really easy to see all the connections in a project you're not familiar with. There's even a built-in signal debugger to show you what signals are activated and when. Very useful. Online multiplayer people rejoice, Delta Rollback by BIMDAV is here to save your game. This add-on implements rollback and prediction netcode. It uses GD extension to ensure the critical parts are made in C++ to be as fast as possible. If you're familiar with netcode, you know how difficult it can be, especially when you need to implement things like rollback. Rollback is used to roll back in time. It's sometimes needed to resolve a conflict between two different states in an online multiplayer game. This is because games often prioritize handling user input as soon as they arrive, but then the server will make sure everything is coherent. It sometimes has to roll back to a previous state to make sure that everything is synchronized correctly. This makes gameplay as smooth as possible because inputs are treated immediately. So make your online game smoother using Delta Rollback. This add-on was developed on top of Snowpix's work and has been used in Dual Run, made by BIMDAV and his studio Cerberus Games. If you want to learn more about rollback, I suggest this video which explains the different problems in great details, and also this article if you prefer reading, which explains all the ways we can do online and their problems. I wanted to add a bonus add-on that will be very helpful to manage all these cool add-ons I'm showcasing. Globalized Plugins by Dugraman helps with reusing add-ons from projects to projects. After you've installed this plugin, you'll have a new Globalize button appearing in the asset library. This will install the add-on globally, making it available to other projects. Now, when you create a new project, you want to use your favorite add-ons, you simply install Globalized Plugins and the add-ons you globalized will be installed to this new project. I hope to see this kind of feature be part of the Godot core at some point. In the meantime, this will surely be very helpful to lots of you. These were my add-ons recommendations and I hope you enjoyed them. Tell me in the comments which is your favorite and if you want to share add-ons, don't hesitate. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!